Welcome back everyone. Today is Wednesday, February 12th, 2025, and my name is Perry. If you're new around here, this is the Scow Bow Mini Cruiser sailboat that I'm building. It is constructed of PVC foam core between fiberglass skins. This is the foam sandwich construction method. Basically, my mission here is to build a strong, trailerable, 14-foot sailboat that's watertight and custom built to cross oceans. And if you are new around here, please do make sure you subscribe to follow along on the build and the following sailing adventures. Early on in my build, I spent a lot of time drawing up different designs for the keel, but ultimately settled on this one for twin steel keels. The next part was pretty convenient. I uploaded the design onto the Sin Cut Sin website, chose the material and the thickness, and they cut it out and shipped it to me. That was one year ago in March of 2024. Finally, I had delivered right to my shop the four steel plates I needed to assemble my twin steel keels. A San Diego ATV shop right around the corner from me welded them together with the 15 degree angle I wanted. Then I moved them across the country with me here to Raleigh, North Carolina. Now I'm ready to work on them once again, so let's get to it. An auto shop let me use their sandblaster to prepare the keels for paint. Once I'd sandblasted them, I began to shape the edges of the keels with an angle grinder. Next, I add layers of epoxy barrier coat. All right, the boat is out in the country on a generous viewer's land. Thanks, John. And it's time to put the keels on. I have placed a paper template underneath of the top of the steel keels. And now I'm gonna drill oversized holes for the 12 keel bolts. First, I'm drilling some pilot holes. All right, we don't need this anymore. When I was drilling in here, I realized that there was no core material coming out. And then I remembered I did myself a little gift before I fiberglass the bottom. I put in a bed of thickened epoxy around where each bolt would go. 
First, I've got to fill all these seams with thickened epoxy and the holes for the keel bolts. All right, it's go time. I've filled all these cracks with the thickened epoxy and the keel bolt holes. Here we go. So I don't have to do oversized holes outside here, but inside I will because there's oak support beams running athwart ships here. So I want to isolate the oak from the bolt, but this part's good to go. So let's go inside. Since the foam core around the hole is already replaced with thickened epoxy, I just stuffed a little roll of painter's tape in there and I'm gonna tape over it. Now I can go inside. Well, I'm inside now, drilling my oversized holes. I got four of them done so far, and I'm only drilling deep enough to go through my oak support beam. So about 36 millimeters. All right, there you can see I've poured thickened epoxy into the holes. And once it's cured, I can come back and drill the smaller diameter holes for my keel bolts. Here's a keel cradle I drew up in Fusion 360. And here's how it turned out in real life. Okay, using the jack, I pushed it perfectly into position. Just uh, pounded it with my fist a bit to nudge it right in the right spot where I marked it. Now I'm going to drill through the holes. All right, now I've re-drilled all the holes all the way through. Got to head inside. Okay, I've wiped the surfaces down with acetone. Now I've got this Sikaflex 291 marine adhesive slash sealant that I'm going to use to bed them. All right, this is all the keel bolts on. And two more in there, I already put that on. Now that the keels are securely attached with 12 total stainless steel bolts, I give them their first coat of ablative anti-fouling paint. The same one I used on the rest of the bottom. In the near future, I'll cast some lead bulbs to attach to the bottoms of these keels. They will bolt on through the three holes you can see at the bottom of each keel.
My trailer will need all these bunks raised by 19 inches and the winch post as well. So goodbye little trailer, you'll be fine. See you in a couple of weeks. All right, the keels look good in black, and it's a long drive out here, so I might as well uh, get some other painting done. I'll put a line for this stripe. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball where the rest of it needs to go. Let's go to the other side in the sun so you can see better. Now I cannot believe how much stuff is getting done. The trailer, keels, touching up this paint. Sailing this summer is starting to feel really real. So let's get this go fast stripe on here. Second coat. Well, thanks for watching everybody. We are a couple of big steps closer to getting in the water. A big thank you to Benjamin who sewed a couple bags for my rudder blades. That's really awesome. And Jeff W for buying a couple items off of the Amazon wish list, like a little solar panel. I really appreciate that. And if anyone else wants to help out and get something on the Amazon wish list, you can do that. Or my Patreon. Thank you to all the Patreon members. They get to see videos one day in advance and they really help out the channel and of course thank you to john for letting me uh, keep the boat on the land here and work on it do me a favor hit the like button on this video leave a friendly comment and i will see you guys in the next one more dollars to make all preparations are getting on the way hey uh what's that one home uh, i'll get back to your station or i'll have you shot from here well shoot some